All right. So, today, we have our LEDX craft back. Nikita gave us our LEDX craft back. Obviously, it's because he saw he saw that we were struggling to find a LEDX, and he was like, "Bro, I'm gonna help you out. We're gonna we're gonna flip it back to the way it was." Oh. Where the fuck is that thing? You still need to unlock Lightkeeper before you can buy this fucking textbook. The LEDX is still quest locked. You still need to find a LEDX in raid before you can craft a LEDX. What a fucking joke. What a fucking joke. What a piece of shit. What a what a fucking absolute joke, bro. Still have to find a fucking LEDX to craft a LEDX. It's just fucking stupid. Fucking joke, bro. Wipes a joke, Nikita. Textbook can literally only be obtained in a quest line following the unlock of Oletex. The only way to get that fucking book. 
Like I said, what a fucking joke, bro. What a fucking joke. Oh yeah, you can craft the Let X, but you have to find a Let X and you have to complete a bunch of quests before you can actually complete the Let X craft in your <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous, bro. Never gonna get this thick. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. Coming to terms with. We're never gonna get this thick because we're never gonna get out of raid with a lead X because of all the fucking cheaters.
All right, so this is the newest, newest fucking joke that Nikita has played on us. So yeah, yeah, you can, you can, sure, sure. If you have all the things, you can craft a lead X in your hideout. You can craft them all fucking day. You can craft them forever, right? Okay. The only way to get this is to find a lead X in raid and give it to, um, give it to therapist, which unlocks. Um, okay. So you give lead X to therapist for private clinic that unlocks network provider, right? Which unlocks, which is a quest line to unlock Lightkeeper. Okay. You have to complete like four Lightkeeper quests before you can unlock the ability to craft a Ledex skin trans illuminator. Okay. So you have to complete those same quests to get this fucking book. So until you find at least one Ledex in raid, get it out and give it to therapist, you don't have any chance of ever crafting this Ledex. You have zero chance. You have to you, you have to find one before you can craft one. Um even and this book can't be purchased, bought, bartered for. There there are zero barters for it um with a trader. It's purely quest locked behind um private clinic and then furthermore it's quest lock behind um network provider which is unlocked after completing a series of other fucking quests so the them giving us the ability to see the letx craft changed nothing uh 99 of the player base still cannot craft the letx because they they haven't found a letx to get to the lightkeeper quest line it's really fucked up. Really fucked up. So there's that. Oh yeah, you can have your lead X craft back, but you still have to complete the same missions to craft it. Which requires you to find a lead X and raid and get out before a cheater kills you. A fucking joke. What a fucking joke that is, bro. Think that they should get rid of loss of scav, scav karma after watching a video this morning by Robin. Um, if they were to get rid of scav karma, except for whenever, like, say you can't kill a boss on scavs, that would be fine in my opinion. But like losing karma for killing scavs that are just being shit, right? Like, it would give you the ability to kill those scabs that, you know, every time you touch a body, um, they start shooting at you, but not shooting you. Obviously, they're doing something sus, and you should uh, have every right to kill them.
Oh, a camera froze? There we go. A waiting session start. I have this stupid fucking gun with a ridiculous amount of bullets in it. Зачем, блядь, чё? cares the gear was dog shit i would never use any of it All right, let's do some lubes warm up. Enable practice mode, game settings. Uh, PVE as in on I. All right, we're gonna get shelled real quick. the stairs there we go
didn't turn the power on this one. Holy, look at my stamina, bro. Trim it all in SJ6. How long can we run for, bro? I think Raiders spawned in. I see a bandit. I see a bandit. Okay, we got bears. Now we, we have got a scab. scab. We got a goddamn scab. Um, I don't remember how to turn power for the parking gate. further down it's like a I didn't know they spawned in server also why was his audio there Just doing this for the grenades and the bullets, so we'll be able to switch up once we run our bullets. They're still spawning in, bro. Just die already!
Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Oh, look at him! Goddamn pussy! Okay. Okay. I know where I am. Um. Oh. That's cool. It's funny, bro. They they removed the Ledex craft being quest locked, but they didn't remove the items in the Ledex craft being quest locked. So there's an item in the Ledex craft that is quest locked the same way that the Ledex craft was quest locked. So the let it, unless you've already completed that quest, which means you've found at least one Ledex and got out of raid with it, right? Unless you've already completed that further quest in the Lightkeeper tasks, you still can't craft a Ledex unless you've completed a certain Lightkeeper task that gives the manual that allows you to craft the Ledex. So really, the the change of the Ledex craft returning didn't benefit anyone unless they've already found a Ledex and they're far, much further than the average person in the quest line. Because I'm further than the average person in a quest line. And I mean, I'm like, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm probably in the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm not at the back, but I'm not in, at the top either. There are people that are obviously, they've been playing for twice, three times as long as I've been playing. Um, they just know all the quests better. But, um, yeah, it's still quest lock behind a quest that some people will never get to. And when I say some people, I mean probably 60% of the player population will never get to those Lightkeeper quests, which means that they'll never be able to complete their Thick Barter now. Which is kind of fucked up. I wish you could turn the loot up, increase the loot spawn. Like, that would be, that would be cool. Be 
you could increase the loot spawns while you're offline. Just so, like... Or make it... It doesn't have to spawn everything, but make every spawn 100... Like, don't spawn everything that spawns in there, right? Obviously. Sorry, my bitrate's dropping really bad. I think my internet's getting throttled. But, like, you, it doesn't have to spawn everything that spawns in that area. But, like, put the spawns at 100% so every spawn on the map gets one item. That way, someone could go in an offline raid and learn where all of the loot spawns are without having to play the map for a thousand hours and die 500 times. No, have to die 1,000 times to know the spawns. But, bro, I don't know if you were here, but I, I've been complaining since I got on, bro. I have been complaining since I got on. I did put I was going live in Discord. I did. I did. I did. Yep. FedEx Craft is back. 9.03 a.m. And the notifications. And then I edited it just a few minutes ago. So the LEDX craft is back, but it's still quest locked the same way. Uh, check. I'll, sh I'll, I'll show. So, um, we go here. go to here items it's an intelligence item in it no it's not so This, that hasn't been updated, so it still says that after completing payback, but that's not a thing. It's not a thing anymore. So, this right here can only be obtained as a quest reward. Cannot be listed on the flea. It doesn't have any in-game spawns. The SOIC manual or textbook. SOIC textbook, right? This is the only... It's used in a fuckload of crafts, right? But this is the only way you can get it. This is the only way you can get it, right? So, questicles, right? Let's go to here. Okay. They didn't add Lightkeeper, I don't think. Needed to unlock Lightkeeper quest line. Let's see. Missing informant. Information source. Getting acquainted. Knock, knock. So, not only do you have to complete the entire mechanic quest to get him unlocked, you then have to complete... Um, that's a skier quest. You then have to complete one, two, three, four, five. You still have to you still have to complete five lightkeeper quests just to craft a Lettix. Okay. That's fucked up, bro. Considering that you already have to complete all of these quests to unlock the quest line for um Lightkeeper. You also 
have to find a LEDX before getting to decontamination service, which is required to unlock network provider, which is the line that introduces you to Lightkeeper. So <laughs> you, there are still 10 or 11 quests from your very first introductory quest just to unlock Lightkeeper. And you, so you, you have to be, you, you have to have max traders, okay? Max traders is a must. You have to have 2.0 scab rep. You have to complete all of these quests. You have to find a Ledex in raid to complete this and unlock decontamination service. And then <clears throat> you're like, oh, that's not too bad. They gave you the LEDX craft back today. You can't get this unless it, you, you complete all of those quests that I was just talking about. This, the only way to get the SOIC manual, I'm going to repeat this textbook, is as a reward for the fifth Lightkeeper quest. The fuck, it did not do the Discord notification sound. Sorry. Um, so, yeah, it's still, it's still absurdly quest locked the let x craft because they added that thing and this thing this thing's hard to find can't can't barter it until completing a quest i don't even know the fucking quest i'm sure shooter born in heaven's probably one of those quests i could do this If I can afford the jammers. We'll do this one today. Yes. Four shits and giggles. So like, regardless of the matting, the quest back, it's still, or the craft back, it's still quest locked. The same exact way it was quest locked before. Like, it's literally no different now. It's just different. It doesn't give you the craft whenever you complete payback. Lightkeeper quests. It's already there. But you do have to complete a Lightkeeper quest to get the manual or the textbook that allows you to craft it. Fucking annoying, bro. That shit is so annoying. They need to get the fuck off it. And just let us get rid of the found and raid stuff, bro. It's fucking stupid. It's frustrating at this point. Because I can buy a LEDX, bro. I can fucking buy one with, with dog tags. Uh, remove
Uh, right. We'll do a factory raid. We'll go to lab and we'll lose our gear. Um, then I'm going to go to shoreline with some signal jammers. Or I might just... Bro, that needs to pop. Not let me with my headphones in. I usually sit down, I start the stream, and then I do all of those notifications right here. I, I open all of the apps on my phone. I open Twitter and Discord, um, OBS Blade and Spotify all on my phone. And I, I put all of the notifications in. So it, um, it takes a little bit longer for the for um obs to send twitch the notification and for it to show up in like my chat and everything like that so it takes like uh between three and five minutes for that to show up so i start stream and then i do everything else because everything else is basically instant it throws the throws it the second it's in there and I, a lot of times i i post the twitter one and i just copy and paste it into discord or vice versa. Too soon. Life's hard, but it's good once a blue moon. It's good once a blue moon. Hey. This is my second or third scav. Um. I haven't gotten a labs card yet this morning. You got a cute ass, boy. God damn. God. There it comes. Um. My camera keeps freezing. I don't know why. fixed it i don't know why but sometimes it just doesn't want to cooperate with the buttons um
skates, the skate edges on the bottom of this mouse because it's feeling like it's sticking to the fucking, like it's sticking to the mat. I don't like that. Don't like it. Don't like it one bit. Not like it one bit. Doing this thing for my dad right now. Want the welcome guy? Just show me my shit, bro. So, like, whenever you set up a GoPro, or at least the GoPro that I had, the 3 Plus, um, it requires you to set a password. Almost like it's its own Wi-Fi router. And... So your phone connects directly to the GoPro via these the network um, key and password. Um, so like when you when you reset it, it automatically does that. There's no way to use the GoPro in live view on your phone without connecting to it like that. So you have to have the password. I had set up a password years ago when I was in um. After I graduated from dive school, um, so my mom bought me the GoPro um, for graduation. Um, but like, uh, so I forgot the password, so we had to reset it completely, um, which wasn't as hard as I thought. You just have to, you send an update file, and the update tells it the new... The new um, ID and password. It was really simple, right? Just throw the things onto the SD card, put it in, um, power on the device, and it automatically updated it. It's great. It took me like two hours to find out that information. On fucking YouTube. It was really a pain in the dick.
Cause like some some people would um It's like you would search it and it automatically defaulted to one of the most recent um GoPros. Like it's like you'll search uh three plus black and it'll send you to a fucking hero six page where they're talk that's the only thing they're talking about is the hero six and all of the instructions are using a touch screen. Mine doesn't have any touch screens. Zero touch screen. Mouse cleaning coming good though. Cleaning coming good though. Mouse cleaning coming good though. Um. Uh. But yeah, yeah. So I graduated um, dive school in 2014, 2015, somewhere in there. Um, so the three plus, I think the latest, whenever I got that was the four. But there was very little difference, I'm pretty sure, between the three plus black and the four. So much better. All right. Got lucky in Black Friday sales two years ago for 160. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, I got a, um, it's a little loud. Um, yeah, I got a, a G-Shock, a rescue G-Shock and a GoPro for graduation from dive school. My parents were very proud. Unfortunately, my brain injury makes it where I can't dive anymore. Can't pass a dive physical. No doctors like, yeah, you're fit. They're like, eh, with this, uh, these, uh, Unknown seizure disorders. We don't think you should dive ever again. Because what if you have a seizure? Like, if I have a seizure, I would, I'll die happy, bro. I'll fucking die happy. I'll be diving. <laughs> and then they're like, ah. <laughs> no, we don't think so. We don't think so. I used to not mind going Black Friday shopping. I used to go uh, with my mom every year, but uh, now it's just so fucking... I get paranoid and anxious. And I don't like it. Too many fucking people. It's like, uh, I would rather shop online. You were going to get the Hero 5 Black, but with the sales, the 7 was the same price as a used Hero 5. Wow. Hell yeah, that's good. So like they don't, they don't update um, the three plus anymore because it's considered a legacy model. Because it's, they're like this is too old. It's like less than a decade old, but it's considered a, it's considered a, a legacy model now. 
So they don't make any updates for it, but they do have an update file that you can use to reset it. Which was hard information to come by. Probably because it was very easy. Like, you could easily steal a bunch of threes, do that, and resell them is brand new. What's up, bud? Did you just kill my friend? The three was a good cam though, still is. Yeah, my, it's, it still shoots in 1080, 60. It also has super sampling capabilities. You can shoot in 720 or 540 or, or 720 or 480 super sampled. My, um, my dad's going to use it to record my sister's archery. And it's still better than those rip off gopros from wish yeah yeah anything's better than a rip off from wish bro wish is wish is garbage it's like everything that wants to be good but it's just trash they sell on wish nothing's ever the same size as it's supposed to be. They never show you the actual picture of the items. It's always some like super high definition. They took it with a $20,000 camera. Doesn't even look real. But saying that me and wife got some off of wish they claimed 4k video but don't do 4k but still 1080p 60. um so my three plus can record in 4k it only records at eight frames per second but it will record in 4k <laughs> Um, I think that's, um, I think the, anything above 1080, 60, um, is meant for pictures. Pretty sure like 1080 S 1080 super sampled. Um, it cuts your frames down to like 28 from 1080 to 1080 S. It cuts your frames down to 28 from 60. You only got yours as the mounts are the same as the GoPro and needed new mounts for yours. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're mostly going to use it just for... Uh, da, 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 da. These are my favorite. These are my favorite drug in the game. Right now, anyway. Uh, da, 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 do, do, do. <laughs> we'll keep that and sell all of the rest.
was in the zone. I didn't mean to sell those, but it's fine. But for a cam that you can do 1080p 60 FPS battery life for two hours is great for 25 USD. I agree. I agree. That is great. And came with a second battery. Yeah, mine has a second battery. So from the start, if they put the ad up for 1080p cam, everyone would have been happy without the Liza claiming 4K. Probably, probably. I mean, bro, unless you're just taking pictures, recording in 4K on the three plus is not a plausible thing. Eight frames per second, bro, you would have to be moving so slow to shoot that video and it not be choppy as fuck. You'd have to be moving slow. Any, any extra movement would ruin it, would ruin the entire picture, would ruin your video. Anything quick or jarring. Only downside is I can put the cam for a while when the lighting is bad. It's very dark in the video. Ah, uh, yeah. So that's the good thing about GoPros. Like the GoPro app, when you're connected, you can adjust the video and the color and everything like that from the quick app. It's almost like a little NVIDIA control panel. But just the color, just the color one. Yep, for the money you get what you pay for, I agree. So it's kind of like this. It doesn't have the all channels. It's more like brightness, contrast, um, hue, um, things like that. I, uh, ISO is one of them. The max it does, it only does up to 6,400. Your GoPro 7, you have the lighting and everything set to auto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The white balance and all that other stuff, it's better to set for auto if you're going to be moving about. So since the crash, you can't get it to power up. Really? That's not good. That's good. Um, did you try hard resetting it with your power buttons stuff? Or is yours the one with the screen? Yours has the screen. As the LCD screen. Yeah, mine doesn't have any of that shit. All right, so the first one is on top of the resort. Which means we're gonna go burr, burr, burr.
Look at this endurance, bro. Look at this endurance. All of the stam. All of the stamina. Gib. Gib all of it. It's not drawing any power at all. Oh, that's not good. Maybe something internal. Um. Did you look into the standard warranty? When did you get it? Uh, I don't know. It would have been a couple of years ago now, right? Bro, look at my stamp. It's regened. It's regenerated. My, my stamina regenerated up. It was going down and then it regenerated. I just, I just want... I, I want that to be known. We just saw that on video. And now it's not going down. Yep, yeah, how did it park? Can't find any shorts. Had it two years now. Okay, gotcha. Bro, I can run forever. Literally. No bullshit. No bullshit. We can run forever, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Look, it's down and it's regenerating. And now it's full again. <laughs> Hermitall SJ6. Yesterday we're off. SJ Trimadol is definitely the go to to run through shoreline, bro. Like, especially that first run, it's worth, worth. So worth. We just made it more than halfway across the map, right? In under five minutes. We even went up on top of the resort, planted something, ran all the way back down, and still got over half of the map covered in a straight line. That was a long run, bro. That was good. So, trim it all. It increases your endurance and stuff, but it's but it also um, adds a PK. Remove. It also removes pain. And when you when you couple it with an SJ6, bro, I ran. I literally could have ran forever. It w it was regenerating while I whilst I was running. Increase holding breath time by ninety percent. That's so OP. We should be pretty fine over here. Press. We'll be able to get out via road to customs. 
Um, we're up. We need to go down. And over. Gotta go to the... What you call it first. Um, I think they're still up there. got to go to both of the, the towers. The one will have already been looted. The other one doesn't have much to loot. You need to go to this one and mark with a jammer and then go to that one and mark with a jammer. That one's easier. But it's also closer to our extract, so we want to go do this one first. Want to go do this one first. We'll go there after we go here. If they're still up there, they might try and run toward that. Cause it's gonna drop back here. That's at the rear. A resort. It's like, um, what you call it? Bunker. You know, I don't think I've ever been on top of this. I just crossed the rock bridge for the first time ever. So basically, fuck. I think this gap killed a player. I thought that was the player, but it was not. It's one of these. I can never remember which one.
I think the change to the higher FOV, higher sensitivity was a good one. I mean, we've had some city games the past couple of days, but not... Like, I feel like I... Have more, um... Oh, feels better. This feels better. This feels better. Mag's more important than the drink, yeah. Bro, I sprayed a whole fucking 50 rounder at that. Or a whole 40 rounder at that scav. I think he looted all of this shit. I spent 45 rounds killing that scab. Because he was over 30 meters away. This shit looks looted. Looted. He put it all in his bum. Oh, big bum. Um, I just hear something over here. Did you, when you took it apart, did you check the, um, connection? on uh of like your your power your your um fucking your charge port to the pcb sorry i'm gonna get it out eventually did you check the connection of the charge port to the pcb the full thing apart checking it um it it may have just damaged the pcb um somewhere like um This other one go. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was fine with no shorts, but PCB was not drawing any power. Um, I don't know. Weird, bro. That is weird, my guy. All right, signal done. Leads to signal part four. Where is that? Oh, we've already done that. So I think the PCB is broken somewhere. Uh, maybe. Probably. Uh, we might be able to buy another PCB. Did you look for um, look for the Hero 7 PCBs? See if you could find any of them. But GoPro did not put any testing points on the PCB. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. There's some used one on AVA. Price they want, just add 30 to 50 more and get a new Pro GoPro. Hmm. That sucks. I hate that shit. Let me try to get it powered up so I can get the video of the crash up. Uh, why don't you just take your SD card out? Take your SD card out, put it in a thing, and plug it into your computer. Can still you can still get the that off of them like that. Don't need to connect to it via that. Cool. Where are we going now? Living high is not a crime. These are all My doing, bro. My doing. You can't as the SD card is jammed in there bad. Mm, why? You, you 
couldn't take it out when you had it apart. So, plus 10 endurance, plus 10 strength. So you, you get plus five stamina level. With a stamina recovery boost of three levels. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Tremadol is easily one of the best, best injectors in the game right now, in my opinion. Nope, is maybe a year ago I broke the door, bit off the SD card. She used a bit of glue to hold it. Uh, <laughs> well, that's a bit fucked, bud. A bit fucked, bud. It should be spring loaded. As long as the glue didn't make it to the. S I just have to use your heat gun to get the glue off. Oh, you used a hot glue gun? That would probably do it. As long as it doesn't smear across the connectors and stuff. Swabs, swabs. Easy. Girl.
your be right back. It feel much better. We did your D setter last night. Did you brush me? Did you CBD wipe wipe down? Got all the scabs off the back of your neck. For some reason, most you gross girl. Oh, gross girl. Oh, crusty butt. Wow, I think that's the longest we've waited for a labs raid the past three days. Wow. Got all of our glasses back. What am I going to do? Alrighty. My thing is, who actually runs fucking humidity in labs? But the game isn't poop. It's not a poop game. It's it's the people in the game that are shit. Game's great. People? Shit. Shitty fucking people.
I don't know if I healed my character. <clears throat> I guess I should have went into the office and just of that corner I don't know. Okay. Let's go. Um, uh, <clears throat> all right. Making sure the mic worked. Uh, mm -hmm. when I look this way and I say, uh, that's a lot of times what I'm doing. I'll look over and see if it's registering in OBS.
I didn't bring a backpack. A bot. What a fucking bot, bro. What kind of dog shit filing cabinets are these? someone would turn on power There's no way I'm alone in here. That's never happened to me. I need some food. Someone hit a button. Think they're leaving? Or are they just calling the elevator? I check dark office before. Or, I guess this is called managers, isn't it? Just calling it to trigger raiders to spawn. Gotcha.
make a quarter, put that together, that'll make a half. I'm trying to show you because my jewelry looked like I made it. Very pink. There's no way that dude that last raid kills me from at least, you know, 60, 80 meters away with Shrap 10 headshot through 
two sets of glass panes. There, it's just so unlikely that I get headshotted from that far away with Strap 10. Um, you know, like, I, I wasn't sure at first. But, like, the more I think about it and the amount of stuff he was shooting through with a KS-23, um, it's just absurd. No, no one would take that shot. He would have gotten, they, a normal person would have gotten closer to me to ensure they were going to kill me. So I couldn't run away and hide and then kill them later. It's just so... The chances of him shooting me in the head with a KS-23 um, inside of his first three shells through all of that stuff and the distance, the more I think about it, the, the less unlikely it got. I reported him anyway, but like the more I think about it, the more I'm like, I'm glad I reported him just because that's, it's a lot. That's, that's, a lot of things to shoot through and considering you cannot headshot a guy in your first three shots. 99.9% .9 of the time with a KS-23 if they're standing in that doorway. Either one of those doorways. You cannot kill them in three shots with a KS-23. It's just not going to happen. The, spread's too, the spread is too much. Anyway, back to the game. Ну чё, шкура цела уже неплохо, а? Опачки. Chill out, chill sorry, out, chill I'm out. Sorry, I'm sorry. I got PTSD. Yeah, I, I injured him pretty bad. Nice. There's, there was one more shooting at me. Maybe it's him? No, it's this one right here. No, no, there was two. There was two. I'm going to go look. Hold it out. Come here, motherfucker. Manya Ayuda. Ну чё, неплохой день, да? Жёстко. Ну 
Ну, пожрать бы, конечно, вообще не помешало бы это. Wish it told me how much damage I did. in the turn. Got one thing, one good thing you're gonna start doing when your leg is better, though. What's that? Flying lessons. That sounds fun. B. That's who. Funny of y'all, you bitches. Who do I trust? I'll be right back.
Flying would be really fun. Um, for me, I would have to do it. Uh, I'd have to build my own micro light and do it all on my own because I wouldn't pass the medical requirements. Seizure disorder disqualifies you from being qualified as anything like that. So I can't drive big trucks. I can't drive. I can't get a pilot's license. Um, I can't dive anymore. I can't get a scuba license. There are a lot of things that they won't let me do. But that's one thing I wanted to build my own micro light a few years back. Just couldn't get the money for it. It's like fifteen thousand dollars still. Ten, fifteen grand to build one of your own. But I think uh instead of a hard wing, I feel like a para a paraplane would be far um more fun it's slower it's more controlled um you just kind of, you float a lot if your engine goes out you don't fucking fall you can you can float down um with your parasol i, I was looking at those fucking paraplanes because they're so cool and like you could um you could easily put pontoons like small pontoons on the bottom of it and be able to land on water and shit like that. Uh, yeah, like paraplanes are so sick. Micro lights are so cool. But double is an air. And an airboat if you needed to land on the water. Couldn't take off from the water, though, obviously. I hopped out and sea walked on my star on that fucking walk of fame in my motherfucking death row chain. we were going in we're gonna die to a cheater i haven't waited this long to get into a labs raid in days every time i have to wait over two minutes i it's always some stupid shit bro always some stupid shit you wouldn't have to buy a plane as your granddad has an old cessna he stopped flying eight to ten years ago dude cessnas are good cessna good
think he got it new in the 70s. It was always a great prime for him. Did a lot of hours. I hate that. I keep hearing someone over here click their site. didn't go as far as I thought it would. Not done a lot of hours on her. So quiet, I don't like it. people bro there's, there's one Why won't they let me spawn raiders? Cut the fucking lights on.
I'm gonna turn something on. Called one of the elevators. Cargo? Okay. sent it away or they're gone weak 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 save Raiders. Water, bro.
dehydrated. Now that the other dude, once the other dude left, we stopped lagging about everywhere. Sick. Yeah, yeah, keep saying that.
was a good raid. We probably could have fit some more gear on us, but, you know, I probably could have picked up my Corund. But it's fine.
What a stacked scarf. Labs card, money, player, Dini. Shoot that bitch like a playground. Where's my flea rep? 6.42 Jet just Forty nine, four thousand items, five thousand items sold. This looks familiar. Four
We use the green and the reds. I've never used one of these. I think these just illuminate. Uh, I need grenades. Hey. I need to organize my bullets and things. I've just been throwing shit into those boxes. My scav is back. Huge, huge. Ah. Eh. Need that's actually cool. Um, I traded the other one, I think. Fucking idiot. Ruble, ruble. Gross. Hundred meters. Now, long distance kills. I have seventy one long distance headshots. At what point does it turn long distance? That was one hell of a shot. That was a uh, rogue.
where do I want to, where am I going? I don't fucking remember. Find and transfer. That's all I have. Didn't take any of the extractions. Uh, deal with looters at Pinewood. Shoot a yellow signal flare in the... We can go do this. We can go do this. We'll go to streets. Do you sell a yellow flare? Oh, fuck you, bud. Fuck you, bud. Fuck you. There's so many streets keys, bro. It's not even funny. We're going to start keeping rubles in here. With these keys. That we bring into every raid. Oh, there they are. I forgot. We'll sell that. We don't really want a white signal flare. Cool. Let's go get one tapped on streets. Obviously, we've got to run our scat first, though. I'm going to go downstairs and get some drinks real quick. Be back.
Как по рыкам, короче. Потом по бабам. Неплохой день, да? Четко все. Ну чё, шкура цела уже неплохо, а? Holy fuck, bro. I just want a lead axe. Hearing that we could craft a lead axe and then, like, realizing that we can't craft a lead axe was fucked up. I think they need to remove the found and raid requirement on it. A lot of fucking things.
All right, come on. This is taking so long to move your pullover to the new host. Why? Is that do you do you know? Well, we loaded in. And now we're just waiting on players.
just has to download each of the blockchains for each of the coins. Um, yeah, that sounds time consuming. Let me see, what is this one called? Uh, Dive checkpoint? This is the main road. Flaps crane. I just got desynced. What is that, glue heart? Fuck. Oh, fuck. I can't see anything, bro. Fucking cunts, bro. I'm in Lexus, so I can go out of the front of here and then go. I want to kill Gluey. Or did I just kill Gluehar? Because he was kind of tanky. Or is that... Grid for the win. There's definitely a boss in here. Just don't know who. I, 
think you should be able to reload your mags without having to sit in this menu. Oh, I was playing that last night, bro. Fucking KS twelve scav. Annoying as fuck, bro. So goddamn annoying. Where's the first guy I killed? Oh, that's Gluhar. two of them. Um, that one tanked because it was Gluar, the first time I've ever killed him. I don't know why, because I played it last night, I guess. There, I fixed it. I fixed it. Why does it say CSGO? Why? Why? I don't know, dog. I played the dog shit game for 30 minutes earlier. Or last night. Brown lag is so bad now. It was fine until like I killed Gluhar and those other two guys not got near me. Now it's all fucked up. X grid, yeah, I got it off of a raider in labs. I'm a labs main now. I'm a fucking I'm a labs main now, face. You die just as often to cheaters and other on other maps. All right, I need to. He said, "Yikes!" Yeah, labs main now. Okay, I'm at the bottom. I need to get into the middle. Just on labs, it makes 
it makes out you can make some good money yeah just like bringing out the raider gear i like killing the raiders i don't necessarily like um labs for the pvp or anything i like it for the raiders and the ledex spawn chance Never finished killing the raiders, raiders on reserve task. Uh, me either. I've I've never killed a raider on reserve. What was that? Shoot the flare and finish the task. Yeah, it's a it's a um rat or a Jaeger task maybe. Um, shoot the flare in the courtyard and eliminate scabs in this area. I'll show you. And I, I, I had a yellow flare. You can buy yellow flares for this, but you can't buy the RSP signal flares. So you have to have this gun to finish this quest. Um, I killed Gluhar for the first time ever. I got this this bad boy off of him. Uh, this was on one of his guards. Uh, so was this. He had a TV 110, but I left because uh, fuck that. I don't want to die to some dog shit. Um, team players figured this was enough, and I came here for the quest. I didn't come here to kill Blue R, but it occurred anyway. Vali Kepko, uh, they reduced the reaction time for um, scavs, pretty sure. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna show it, show that task. Um, it is not that, not that. Um, maybe this one. No. There, the Huntsman Path admin. Deal with looters at on the streets of Tarkov Pinewood Hotel and shoot a yellow signal flare in the hotel's courtyard. There was another patch today? Yeah, yeah, they patched some things. It wasn't really a patch. We didn't have to download anything. They just changed some things in the game. Did some tweaks or whatnot, whatever you want to call them. He saw me. Now he's not going to give up. Yeah, they changed some things. They they increased the reaction time of scabs. They uh, 
added the Red X craft back, but it's still quest locked. You, you have to complete a Lightkeeper quest to unlock the manual that allows you to craft the Red X. The only way you can get it. Um, but you can look at the Red X craft, I guess. I mean, whatever. Still can't do it unless you've degenerately played the game. Yeah, it takes them longer to shoot you. There's a player scav or something near me though that wants to kill me. These dog shit frames. That's new. These bushes are new. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And we got this fucking banger. 
The bushes are new, yeah. They're new. That was a really good raid. Oh, fuck. That's the first time I've ever killed Gluhar. Sick. Sick. 8k I have never gotten 8k for a raid bro am I a sweat god now I did go in with an axe fill and a hex gray the only effective armor class is level 3 and level 6 Look at the cases face. Look at the cases. Ow. Ow. You did the reserve task where you had to examine the food reserves and then I quickly extracted, but it didn't count as extracting. Oh, that's fucked, bro. I hate that shit. I've done that before. I've done that before. The fucking worst. <laughs> I think that's a quest key. I think she'll give me that for it. No, not quite, but still. One less step, multiple less clicks required. I need to feed and water my PMC. This fucking song is loud. Why doesn't, why isn't it like standardizing my... Playback. Oh, it won't let me edit it on here. On normalized, but like it's still not 
quite right. Jaeger. Well done, kid. Fuck you. I just have to extract from any map to count as extracting now. Oh. Does it say survive and extract from raid? Because it, it might. It might just be. Uh, you may just need to get us any survive. I've had that happen before. Didn't buy the bullets. Need to buy the bullets. Let's get like 200 of them. And bring them all in. Mostly because... Of players. And then the, the raiders, once you kill one, they push. Check it that out. I haven't been shot in the face in like a raid or two. I think so, because the locate food reserves task is already marked as completed. You may have to survive and extract from reserve, though. Um, I mean, that's still, that is a possibility. Yo, imagine if there was um, a hole, like a, like a glass ceiling in the middle of the top floor of labs, right? And you could call in an airdrop and it would drop only in that one place in the very center of the map. Uh, that'd be great. Oh, man. I gotta use the restroom after this raid. Then we'll come back and go to labs.
Зачем, бля, чё? Ну чё, неплохой день, да? Фотка все. А, вот тут, короче, друган мой бывал точно. Нормас, нормас. Охуенно, сейчас поживимся. Опачки. Congrats, guys. You did a good job, bro. Thank you. How did you guys know he was in there? I didn't. <clears throat> Dude with two guns on his back knew that he was in there. Why would he just be in there though? Like just hanging out. I don't understand what just happened. I don't understand what just happened. We'll get back to the main menu eventually. Make sure I have all ooh gross. Two coins now working out of the 11. Hell yeah. 
Hell yeah. Awesome. All right, I'll be right back.
All right. Prepare to escape. Oops. Looks like you're gonna go nighttime. Pistol, hide in a bush for seven minutes, run to sewer manhole for reserve. Hey bro, if that's how you do it, you do it. Yeah. What Chilt said. You got this phase. It's going to be great. It's going to be great, guys. It's going to be great. It's going to be tremendous. Okay. It's going to be tremendous. Let me get rid of the restroom text. Or we die in raid and it says restroom above my head. It's indicative of like dog shit. You're trash. You you are shit. Look at look, it even says restroom above when you play. Okay. I know where I'm at. You don't even need armor. Okay. Mainly because I have no room. You don't have any room to buy armor. Bro, just sell shit face. Sell, 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 sell. Sell it all. But I'm so close to the food. Sell other shit, bro. What do you mean? After you extract, you'll get Jaeger level two. Hell yeah, GG's. I haven't heard any gunfire, so either like, it's just me or it's me and another solo or it's a couple of solos or it's me and a fucking five man and like, I'm gonna die. What? Sprats.
Yeah, takes out one fish, tosses the rest. I love getting shot through walls. Doesn't everybody love getting shot through walls? This is like my favorite pastime. He only had to shoot 40 fucking rounds. Need a rig and armor. Or a rig, sorry. Fuck.
Let's see how this shoots. What the fuck? I was sitting in a bush and a scab started shooting me? Bro, that's fucked. Fucking hate scabs. So you're better off not aiming for the head, but like the top of the thorax. Oh man. go again absolutely absolutely how was the point fire with this short gun That's only a 30 round bag. Bro. These goddamn M4s. It's like 90 something percent, isn't it? 95.2 percent? Is it just the sheer heat? I don't understand why it's jamming. So we can make this better. Where's the DS? 
Really? What is it? What's on this? CTR FDE. Holy. However, we still have a. We can still make it better. Make it better. So the FST2 or the Ergo. Plus five. Plus two. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. Let's put a ARE on it. And then throw the GTRFD back on it. Failure to eject. Well. I need a helmet. I need a helmet. Uh, filter. What's different? What is different? Stag, AK, Stag, Mag, Torch Handle, M4SS, AK45DC, 99.7. We won't use those.
you're in a very skinny bush. Hopefully it's enough. Well, I mean, nothing is enough if there's a green box or a red box or, you know, any kind of box around your body. It doesn't matter. If they can see your box, your hip boxes, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're in a bush. But good luck. Good luck to you. Um... Had the KS. Короче, друган мой бывал точно. Пожрать бы, конечно, вообще не мешало бы. Must have been a one of those PMCs had a level five or a level six armor that that the last guy took out.
Probably left with a gazelle, a gazelle or something. What the fuck? There's like three scabs around sewer man. Oh, yeah, they spawn there. What do you mean? You're like... You're like a reserve scav main. You never see scabs right on top of the manhole? Really? Maybe you've got to bring a different gun this time. I mean, you did. Did you bring a gun at all the first time is the real question. Did you even bring a gun at all? I don't understand why you can buy two of the black ones, but only one of the brown ones. A pistol, but you had the game tab down. <laughs> Oh, man. Did you die to another scab? Oh, no, no. I'm in a very skinny bush. What the fuck? There's like three scabs. Oh, you were trying to extract. Yeah, you did. I got you. You were going through the two sets of fences and there was a scab standing on top of the sewer manhole. I got you. I got you. Maybe they were trying to extract, bro. Was it AI? It was AI, wasn't it? They do that.
one of these days, one of these days, you'll be able to gamble on whether or not you're going to live. I'm going to give you a hint. No is going to win more times than yes. Until my survival rate goes over 50%. It's okay. Now I have a 95 round drum and a level 4 armor. Hell yeah, that's how you do it. That's not the quiet that I so desperately need. What the fuck is that? Why is it so hazy in here? I wish that if you held G for a certain amount of time, you could select between your grenades. Oh god, that scared the shit out of me. Uh, 
You're dog shit. You're a piece of garbage. Actual piece of trash. That's the second time I've died to him today. Like that. The second time I've died to him like that today. Thorax. One hundred percent cheating. He didn't miss. He didn't miss. He walked up to the back of it. He aimed as carefully as he could, and then he just shot through it and fucking killed me. It's great, isn't it? Fucking losers, bro. That's cool. I just died to a cheater in labs. Again. It's great. Yeah, we don't we don't have any money from dying all day. The cheaters. It's great. They just keep winning and we just keep losing. It's really great. It's really great, Nikita. Really great. We're having a fun time dying to cheaters all day, every day. Really, it's really fun. My favorite pastime. Fucking cheaters playing tactically as a team. Bunch of fucking losers. I don't want to run that fucking ammo. And that's the second time I've died to that guy today. In the same kind of fucking sus manner.
All of these servers are so bad. I guess I'll say it again, game would be better without other players in it. It would be better as a solo player game. So much better. Until they figure out the fucking cheating problem, it, it would be a better game. It would be a better game to just let us farm AI. It literally would be. I mean, it, exactly. If it was just PvE, the game would be better. You wouldn't have to deal with all these fucking cheaters. Like, that would. I, I know a lot of people would hate that. I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people would be like, "Fuck you, fuck that." No, that's stupid. You're fucking stupid. It's a dumb idea. But like, it, you wouldn't run into cheaters so goddamn often. It wouldn't be a problem. They wouldn't be able to make money. They'll be able to fix the fucking servers. I would be so happy to die to scavs all day rather than having to question every time I die. Like, it's not cool. And until they fix the servers and stuff, 90% of the game is just bullshit. You're just, you're dying to people you don't see. You're dying to, you know, I mean, it's just crazy. It's fucking crazy. Can't RMT if you can't play with other people. Whole industry crushed overnight. Removal of PvP. Obviously, it would be just temporary until they work this shit out, but, like, I mean, for now, right now, it would just be... It would be a healthier environment, bro. Like, I, I would, I would not mind that. Just spawn in the same number of um, players that are supposed to be on the map. 
I mean, we, we, have, we have AI PMCs. I mean, that, that's what rogues are. <laughs> it's literally what rogues are. They're AI PMCs. We have them. I mean, yeah, it wouldn't be as dynamic of a game, but it also wouldn't have so much bullshit in it while they're trying to fix these server issues and fucking deal with the cheating issues with the markets and shit like that. Like, just, just the elimination of PvP would... If you can't get in a raid with other players, you can't drop them stuff. You can't... can't mop lobbies for their gear. That dude killed me in my thorax because he didn't want to damage the exfil on my head. Last raid. So that's why he did that. Because I had a brand new exfil on my head. It's a 200,000, 250,000 ruble piece of gear. And that's, that's... I mean, that, that's literally why I got shot in the thorax and not in the head. And you, you can't, you can't tell me any, anything otherwise. Like that's, that's why. The gazelle was already damaged. The x was not. It was brand new x -Fill. I would be happy just do one wipe of PvE. I would too. I would too. All of the people that cheat for a living would would lose their jobs. Like they, <laughs> you can't drop people shit and you can't cheat to kill players if you if you piece of shit. Yo, he's dead, bro. Is that a player? Whoop, oh, No scabs at sewer manhole this time? GG's. Scabs at sewer manhole this time. Rip that guy, fuck that guy. He would have murdered me in a heartbeat. He would have blown my fucking head off. Ah, I guess I can wear that. Thanks for the meds, bitch. Last time I went out there, I ran into some raiders. 
You run to surface every time. Yeah, he does. Literally. Jaeger to at last, hell yeah. Now you can buy your holodicks. Ну что, неплохой день, да? Четко все. Ха, ну и что, нормально? Пожрать бы, конечно, вообще не помешало бы это. Had everything except three squash. Couldn't fit the three squash. You fit it. Check Brigham Crochi. But don't put Bobum. There's a guy like whining or screaming into the making noises into the fucking mic or void hmm. how'd you fit it how'd you do that how how I had a few spaces left. Overall standing, helping scavs and trader scavs kill. Fence rep for Xfil. Just not enough space to fit an armor. Ah, okay, 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 I got you. No six slot or nine, nine slot spaces. I don't want a picture with the president. I just want to talk to the man. Be for the boys in a bando. Come on, talking again.
take a DNF. That's what I'm There we go. Ah, yes. We'll probably have to buy another med case. Ah, yes. Space at last. Space feels great, doesn't it? favorite gun in the world. What's up, Ari? How are you doing, bud? How's it going? Sorry, Caps. No big deal. Are you my best damn guy? <laughs> well, first off, let's let's. I can't aim. My fingers are also fat, and you don't need to apologize for Caps. I couldn't care less if you capitalize everything you send. You can aim, but not straight. Yeah, correct. I don't particularly care for this gun. Like, maybe shoot sideways when being. Jesus. I don't have that problem, bud. I don't like the reset time on this. I house. Do I have dailies? I don't have the right keys for that map. To be honest, I was looking for survival games. Found I have scum on my Steam. So you replay the game. Decent game, but too lazy to grind. Yeah, it's it's a pretty involved game. I like I like scum though. Scum's a good game. Scum would be more scum's kind of hard for yourself, so uh
last you played it was the 20, 2022 January. I prefer single player anyway, except for Tarkov. I think with the amount of desync and the bullshit that goes on in Tarkov, they should remove multiplayer for like a wipe or two. Have have all other PMCs on the map be AI. I think we should farm AI for a wipe or two. Can't interact with other players. You can't cheat. There's nothing you gain from cheating. If you can't sell all of your shit on the flea. It'd be great if the scav doesn't head eyes. Bro, I would rather get head eyes by a scav than get head eyes by somebody thousand meters away. Bro, I would I would happily play Tarkov if all I had all I had to deal with was AI. Look, dude, it's the it's the the lie from player to player and the bullshit that other players are doing. That just make it not fun for a lot of people. Only play against scabs. Just go AKI. Tarkov, man. I don't know what AKI is. You want single player Tarkov? PvP on PvE only would be great. Yeah, just like a wipe or two until they figure out the the server issues. Like get us to where there isn't as much desync. Or just co op with friends. I mean, yeah, yeah, you could do co op with friends or you just farm AI. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, there would need to be limits, but I guess the, there are limits in the skill progressions. But yeah, I mean, it would just be, I think a lot of people would have a better time in game if they were killing, um, AI. AKI Tarkov is your answer. Co op with someone running the server, either you or your friend. Yeah, no. You can't do that on Twitch. You will get banned though, trust me. Yeah, no, I don't want to do that. I'm not going to do that. A lot of streamers banned like that. Why would you do it? That's just stupid. I don't do anything that contradicts the PSG's terms of service. I like the game too much to fuck that up. There's nothing else I could play for 100 hours a week. But it's just for fun or play with your friends best way. Let's get away for a while. Uh, I'd have to pass on that, bud. Someone else is already in here. Jeez. Yeah, like that. Like that. That's. I could do without that stupid shit. Couldn't care less to kill players. If I wanted to kill other players, 
I would go play Call of Duty, bro. Like, if I wanted a game to run around and kill everything that I see, I would play Call of Duty. But I fucking hate that game because it's not fucking fun. It's not fun to run around and kill people. It is fun to play a game however it's intended to play, though. A lot of people just don't understand that because they're fucking assholes. Everything's their way. Every they, they should be able to do whatever they want to do in your game. And that's just not, that's not life, bro. It's not life. It's Nikita's game. And if you don't like where he's going with it, then fuck you. Don't play it. He hit you when he doesn't fire, yeah. Or you could play boss light Tarkov with decent server. Just Tarkov with bad graphics. Well, good armor hasn't saved me all goddamn day, so um I'm, ty I'm tired of dying the same fucking way to stupid shit wearing wearing f million rubles worth of gear. Fucking ridiculous this game, bro. This game would be so much better just solo for now. Like, like I, I, it makes me mad that people even want to PvP whenever, you know, half of the time they're shitting on people that they desynced. And that it's obvious. If you, if you get a full two or three seconds to aim at somebody's head before you get to shoot them, they're probably desyncing. Yeah, armor doesn't save you when they shoot you through walls either. This the players in Tarkov ruin Tarkov. And that's a fact. It's a fucking fact. The PvP ruins Tarkov. don't need armor when not getting hit yeah but when they can shoot you through walls because they can see your hit boxes it doesn't matter if you're wearing armor or not by the way how do you keep getting more money man what the fuck do you mean you don't have any money i scav and i get rubles i scav and i get rubles Scabs are the only way that I get rubles in this game. I die 
more times than not. Be honest, when you got this game first time, you never ran a PMC until you got 10 million. At least 10 guns. Oh, I guess it's the only. I don't. The thing is, like, I want to play the quests lines. That's, that's. I am invested in. The quest lines. And progression in the game. Also. Nice work. You have leveled up to Twitch affiliate. The affiliate program allows you to start earning on your Twitch channel. While you continue to build your audience and work towards partnership. I am affiliate. GG guys. GG guys. I appreciate you. <laughs> we are an affiliated Tarkov streamer. Welcome to the shit show. want to do my task in peace me too never do it for your english being your second english you do type never ended up getting you never ended up getting any quests when you have it all set up you'll sub to me i would appreciate that greatly to affiliate. thank you ari i'm glad to have made it to affiliate Damn, HK lovely gun? I know, right? Imagine not checking that crate. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Wonder what kind of bullets we have in it. Oh no. Pocket, pocket, pocket. You know what I'm like for using HKs? Yeah. You are an HK enjoyer. Never do quest, only get trader level two, then never go quest again until wipe ends. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? Why you keep doing quest? You got everything you need as rack on level <laughs> on trainer level two. Oh man, that's debatable. That's debatable. You can't buy cases at level two traders, other than like the Holodelnik from Jaeger. You can't buy thick cases. You can't barter for thick cases. You can't. You can't buy a scav case at level two traders. 
Why do you need cases when I don't have anything in stash? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I can't. But Ragman's first guy is 25, kill 25 scabs on interchange. Yeah. How you do that without a gun, Ari? How do you kill 25 scabs on interchange without a gun? We're gonna run. We're gonna run all out HK because we don't we don't know how to build an HK. Just kidding. I'm not doing that. God damn, that's an expensive suppressor. I can mod cons on one mil run. If you can't aim, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Just telling people like here my modded gun. Use it well to kill me. You've been playing since Alpha Ari. How'd you get your key for free? How you do that? This is my third pipe. Why is it shooting like I'm playing CSGO? Dog shit hip fire. Dev road, I guess. Okay. Sorry, you really me when got labs got added. We got to go there for. Oh, you got to go there without labs cards. Yeah, I forgot. Forgot that was a thing. Uh, so it doesn't matter since your stash is already huge. Yeah, basically. You got that big boy stash phase. Back then, not playing on labs. Yep, before they lock behind card gate. Back then, playing on labs was just a big waste of time. Of course, I wouldn't need many cases either. 
Yeah, but if you it centralizes everything at the top of your stash. The only container you need is a scab junk box. Other than that, you don't need it. That's fair. That's fair. I remember when I used pistol case and put the gun inside it. You can still do that. Ah. You would put a pistol case in your gamma and then put your gun after killing them into your pistol case in your gamma and then take their weapon out. Okay, I got you. I got you. <laughs> what a menace. What a menace. <laughs> GG's, bro. Plus the size of Gamma, you can have AK-74U and save it to the next raid. There are a lot of things you can't put in your ass anymore. Bro, this gun doesn't have a front sight. I also didn't repair it. I know I just said that. Well, fuck you. Fuck you. I always forget that Nikita steals the front sights off of all Scabs Mosins. Bad streamer. Forgot keys. You ever tried to bring just the armor and nothing else except Hello? Hello? I'm not interested. Nah, bro. No. Nope, nope. 
not interested. AK 74U fully modded with BT. Just kill your people with it. After killing the god taking his gear, you basically never lose anything. Armor is insure gun in your butt. to have the room. Armor is insured, gun is in your butt. Back and rocks. Feature not an abusive mechanics. Oh. Yeah. I agree. So there are people that come to labs and just beg other people to open doors? That's crazy. I don't know why, but after they put the labs card gate, you didn't want to go there anymore. I can see that. I can see that. The loot's not even good, bro. The loot's not even that great. A lot of times you die to such shit. I'm pretty sure I make more money on Lighthouse than on this map. Really? It's not that far. Nice legs. I mean, only one of them's broken. get a lot more money on reserve than labs uh yeah i don't i don't know reserve that well it's not my favorite map in the game the lab seems very empty i don't know if because i don't have cards or what but it's pretty fucking empty. Past few days I've been playing it. Yep, a lot of good gear is in rooms you need keys for. Yeah, I agree. I know. I got you. Very 
treasures. Interchange is a good map, to be honest. I don't agree. I don't agree. Cannot agree with that statement. Keep them coming. How did that black my thorax, bro? Those with no front sight is really good. Never knew it was that good of a sight. Yeah, it's the best. Best in the game, bro. Best sight in the game. Not my fucking chest, bro. I don't know, look sus. No, that's a, that was a raider. It's just the lag, bro. Literally just the lag. So if you, it, it's fucking the lag spikes that cause it to be so shit. Yeah, that raider needs to be reported. Your chat is all gone? Uh, no. Does that? Did they turn? Yeah, they did. That's fine for you. I don't know, bud. I don't know. If you refreshed your page, it sometimes deletes chat. God damn. It's like that raider emptied a mag into me. The whole fucking thing. They shining like the lights on the street. Um, we'll just go with this. Ooh, that muzzle break. Muzzling with suppressor sounds cool, but not cool. That's because it's so slow. Um, 
you have to use the very small one to make it okay this one's good this one's good good do that muzzle break this muzzle break gets rid of most of the vertical recoil or horizontal i'm not really sure look at that look at that Can I check how much SVD costs on fully? Ninety nine K. Minus 29 recoil using this puzzle break. Be right back. Be right back. Well, what? Well, what, Ari? Is that too expensive? They're kind of expensive. I probably lost two or three million doing my 15. Sorry, just got back too. I just got back. Ну чё, шкура цела уже неплохо, а? Да. 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 
Бари, да. Нажать бы, конечно, вообще не помешало бы это. Got a party down where? Oh, no. If it's over here. Зачем, бля, чё? Опачки. It was used to 40k back when Pestilli doesn't show off the gun. Wiggle that killed Tarka, but everyone used the wiggle. But that video was... Did you know that with even video is controversial? So even if 60%, even if 60% of your raids have cheaters in them, right? That doesn't mean that 60% of the player population are cheating. Okay. When you do the math, it, it breaks, it comes down to less than 5% of the player population cheats. And that 5% are always in 60% of the raids, is what he was trying to say. The player base is so small that that fractional percentage of, of or that, per, that small percentage of cheaters seems enormous. Wait, you'll send me why it was allowed? It's basically a strategy. I mean, I can see that. I still think that PvE would solve all of the cheating problems. No reason to cheat if you can't make money off of it. Basically a strategy for what? Тут, короче, друган мой бывал точно.
Everyone in a, that was a player. That was a player with five minutes left. He'd been in factory for 15 minutes. Ratting. In there, fun. Ratting in factory to kill scavs. This is going to be long as fuck, sorry for this. To be honest, Goat is doing... That's fine, bro. It's fine. Um, don't apologize about English not being your first language, bro. There's a very small percentage of the world that English is their first language. Um, you don't have to apologize for that. Uh, but I understand exactly what you're saying. Get the shepherd, get the sheep. Copy paste from the thread. It makes a whole lot of sense. Sense. It's like inserting a piece of code into something, and then when you see that specific piece of code repeated somewhere, you know that it came from this, this specific source. So you provide the source, and then you use that to your advantage. Yeah, I understand. Makes a lot of sense. Curious. It's curious that they would do it that way by allowing a a streamer that doesn't 
even stream Tarkov still. But GG. GG. SMB more Oh, I didn't do this one. This one, this one, this way. This way, this way, this way. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't read until you're afraid it'll ruin your focus. I'll do my best. Let's take that just in case we need it. I didn't bring any like normal meds, so I don't have any like anything to heal health health points so basically we just don't get shot super simple super simple just don't get shot Duh. Now let's have a nice little draw about.
down to Southern Road. That's just so dry. Definitely something in here. Two people in here. That's a solo and a two man. That's none of my fucking business. At least a two man, maybe even a three. stamina to jump. Down to the last four coins? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But you're happy about that. It's been taking its sweet fucking time. Look at this. Wow. 
don't understand why that scab was just standing there like that, but he was. А вот тут мой карифан точно бывал. Как барыга, а потом по бабам. Алло. Yeah. Fucking 28 minutes left in the goddamn raid. It's a stupid fucking feature. Plus side, we leveled our armor up one. <laughs> That's cool. Um. That's the explanation of it. I'm oh, sorry, it was very long. Al did it in four months, if you remember correctly. Yeah, meds. Um, 
Yeah, we're gonna buy one of these. Well, let's hope they implement something like that. That would be tremendous. Would make our lives a whole lot easier. It would tremendously enhance the experience of the average player as well. Because I know I've died to the same guy on labs twice in the past couple of days. I've reported him both times I ran into him. He's kill he killed me through other things without ever seeing me beforehand. Yeah, you can hear me, but you're not going to shoot me in the same body part three times through through a solid object. It's not going to happen. That's the hardest part of it. Well, let's hope we get it sorted. These things are ridiculous. Imagine seriously using a laser. Why isn't this opening? There it is. Spotify app froze. It's the most temperamental app. Like sometimes it just decides, yeah, nope. The hardest part, how to tell if it's a legit guy, a lucky shot and a cheater. So usually somebody gets a lucky shot in the middle of a gunfight. They don't lucky shot head eyes you first pull it out of their gun um now you lucky shot somebody while you're shooting like that that's a lucky shot head eyes if you're trying to kill somebody over here you know what i mean 
but like for somebody to just run full stop head eyes that's not legit or a lucky shot There's a slight chance you 360 a guy before. Yes. I'm talking about like I spawned, right? I spawned. I moved up here. Or I moved right here. A guy comes around this corner, right? From over there, walks straight over to me without going around this way. And then just peeks around this corner and one taps me that's that's the kind of stuff i'm talking about like no one in this game knows exactly where people are it, it's not a thing especially when it's around corners and in different rooms it, the sound is not that good the sound is not good enough for that stuff for that kind of accuracy in detail and telling where somebody is down to the letter yeah no sound doesn't work that way bro and it definitely doesn't work that well in tarkov <laughs> that happened on CSGO, but for everything in Tarkov is sus. For everything in CSGO is sus. Why did this guy run in here and then come out to open the door? See, see us go every, everything is sus 99.9% .9 of the names are sus 99.9% .9 of the the fucking profile pictures are sus everything that comes out of somebody's mouth on CSGO is sus At the core of CSGO, the way that sniper rifles work, thus. The recoil is just, don't even fucking get me started on the dumbass recoil that they got. Fucking ridiculous, that shit. It's absurd. Why would it? I wish that it would put things into bags in such a way that it preserves space. Like for the largest, I don't know. CSGO has better recoil over every other CS. Yeah, but the recoil in general is just weird. I mean, pulling down and left and then doing a bunch of fucking squiggles is for is crazy. It's wild. I just, when I crouch and pull the trigger, want my bullets to go in the middle of the screen. And if they're not going in the middle of the screen, make the gun move in such a way that the bullets obviously aren't going in the middle of the screen. 
it's when when you're aimed like this right and you pull the trigger and it doesn't hit where you were aimed it fucking shoots off like that that's not how guns work that's one thing that i hate about cs is that the bullets come out of the gun like that unless you do this stupid ass fucking squiggly down recoil pattern that is fucking annoying Where am I going? Where am I going? I want to get a pistol. I want to get an FN. Oh, get 400, I guess. Tarkov does that sometimes, occasionally, but it's not a common mechanic. But bullets don't come out of the end of a barrel, like, so if this barrel is pointed like this, this bullet, is not coming out of the barrel like that. It's impossible. Okay. It has to come out straight, right? It has to. It's how guns work. It's how physics require guns to work. You cannot pull the trigger on this gun and the bullet come out of this barrel like that. Now, you can turn the gun after pulling the trigger and the bullet goes somewhere else. That's a different mechanic though. Different mechanic. I do have lighthouse keys, yeah. CSGO is oddly coded. Game that works like that is Arma 3. Never been a been big into Arma. Was I don't know. Tarkov is not in the greatest place, but it's not in the worst place either. I think we're getting closer to rooting out the major issues in the game. If they're doing what Ari said, that, that makes just as much sense as just getting making us play solo and that's a probably a better way that's how you catch them and preserve the game I understand I got you the way the way you explain it is so they don't have to Say, okay, you got to stop playing for a little while while we sort this shit out. This way, the development can still, con can still continue and everything.
And that's why they made a thread and openly answer all questions. Yeah, I like that change. Um, the threads that Nikita has on Reddit and stuff. Yeah, I, I read a lot of those. I like that he was communicating with us directly. Directly answering our questions. Bro, it doesn't even have to be Nikita, though. Oh, no, I smoke a lot. I smoke a lot. Um, sorry if you heard it. I apologize. It occurs. It slips through sometimes. I try to mute before I cough. But, like, they could have one dev. Not even a dev. They could hire somebody to answer questions like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be Nikita. It could be a th like a third party that has a direct line to Nikita to ask these questions if he needs if they need further you know information on the subject to answer the question. But I like that he's directly communicating with the community. Good, good, good step in the right direction. It's more than most most um, game developers do for their community, like Blizzard. Blizzard doesn't tell people anything. They don't give a fuck about your problems. It's on a forum, but it takes them six months to reply to the forum. You didn't hear the cough? You saw your cough? And your eyes have tear in it? Looks hurt? Oh, no. No, it's fine. My, my... My eyes, if they look um, glassy or anything like that, is because um, they're very, very, very dry. I have a dry eye syndrome. And I don't blink enough. That's why there's a blink. There's a blink command. The figure have to be someone who's a really public figure. Figure and Nikita is. I mean, not not necessarily. As long as as long as they were to word it right, like Nikita, Olin, um, you know, in quotation marks. But I, I understand your point too. They want to hear directly from Nikita to make sure something's being done about it because he is the head of the studio. You know, he, he created this. This is his child, in a manner of speaking. I don't know if he has actual children, but... is a pain in the ass.
Keita better not have kids. It's, he needs to fix this before taking care of a family. Oh no, that's mean. That's rude. <laughs> fix your baby before taking care of your family. No, that would be fucked up, bro. Come on now. Can't do him like that. Not allowed to you're not allowed to procreate until Tarkov's completed. No. Well you wish you could smoke? Uh I wish I could smoke um the real thing. Um what I smoke is less than point oh nine. Um Delta 9 THC and it only has like three other cannabinoids in it and those are synthetic so like we still don't have we still don't have regular we don't have access to regular cannabis in um, the majority of the United States um, so we're smoking these analogs of sort I can smoke. Well, your country has real tobacco. Well, we have real tobacco too. We have real tobacco as well. This one is a player scav. Yeah, 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 fuck you. Come get it, bitch. Come get it. Come get this foot in your ass, son. Where did they go? This up? Surely not, right? That up? I feel like this is boss. Oh, 
boss. Isn't there a boss that spawns here? Oh, there he is. There's a PMC above me. Yeah, what you're doing is being mad disrespectful. Fucking lie. I mean, I'm missing an arm. Nah, bro, I'm good on that. You can go ahead if you're not gonna shoot me. Uh, are you gonna shoot me? I mean, no, not unless I get shot first. Absolutely. My name is Captain. Captain? Oh, my name's Cap. It's, you know, look at that. It's meant to be, right? Absolutely. Just don't cap me, please. No, it's a scav. It's a scav. This is me. That's a bird. I'll just make my way down here. Have a good day. He said, Oi, my name's Cap. I didn't want to use this while he was near me. Nice bit of PVE. Absolutely. See? See? Bro, if people could just get along, we would all be rich. AI would be, would be, would be a thing of the past. We would just murder all the AI. It would be great, right? All right, let me go kill these. All right, so first things first, I need to put bullets in this. And then we, we're going to wait a little while, let him get out, and then we're going to go pop a red flare. And enjoy ourselves. Where did this scab go? There was another one.
Well, it appears as though he was alone and gone. I honestly think I saved the red player. I think we're going to save it. It's a good raid. See what happens when you participate in what is called teamwork. That's not even tag, so that's not even teamwork. That's just um, human decency. Cool. How much do pro kills for you for? Not a whole lot. Well, good night, man. See you later. It's 3.55 in the morning for you. I hope you have a good night, bud. Hope you sleep well. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. You have a good night, Red. TV mm, fight, man. See you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. I I am. I'm a PVE enjoyer. It's just... Bro, 
with some of that Dreamville money at these hoes. <laughs> they got shit to do, too. Oh, man. Funny. Factory.
Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Oh, man. This is good. Yeah, like, I would really, you do like PVN Tarkov with other players. It's rare, though. Oh, you mean like killing scabs with other players? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty rare. Uh, I wish that I could go in to Lighthouse and farm the rogues without having to worry about fucking player scabs everywhere 10 minutes inside of the raid but like it's so hard to learn how to farm the rogues when you're being pushed with a 10 minute time limit on clearing the entire fucking place like as a solo that's just not a thing It's not gonna. I mean, you can do it, but you can't, like, you have to loot specific POIs as an individual. You can't loot the entire fucking place. I thought it was passing out because we were getting into a raid, but it was just that. Uh... It was not. It was not. Gonna... We did get into a raid, though. That's good. Oh, shit. Sorry about that. You know what I don't have? From it all or PKs. Where did the flare go? It just went up and kind of disappeared. Is it because of the rain? Did it dissipated so fast? Maybe. That was odd. A bit odd there. Sound is much better this, like now, than it was at the beginning of Wipe, though. I can say that. 100% certainty. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
gross. Fucking gross, Nikita. Not the greatest airdrop, but an airdrop nonetheless successfully looted with no hitches. We are almost to the extract. And Dub City, bitch. Dub City. clap oblivion yeah yeah oblivion yeah 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 oblivion yeah yeah So it's a beautiful feeling in oblivion, yeah, yeah.
Maybe. Maybe we'll get a good raid. Be right back. Right. You know what game I like that I'll probably play a bit on full release? Marauders. Whoop,
<clears throat> Excuse me. She bell. Going to do some fishing tomorrow. What are you fishing for? I sold my boat like a year ago, I guess now. Harping catfish, which you could use your boat. Not a good idea with the wheelchair, I agree. <laughs> I mean, not the worst idea, you could still fish. Probably wheelchair. Never fish for carp. Mostly because I don't want to eat it. It's fucking gross, it's full of fucking bones. Um. Catfish is pretty pretty fun. You can get get drunk and a creeper. You can just hang out. It's a little harder with bass fishing stuff. You gotta or fly fishing stuff that you actually have to do things with your hands the entire time. But you know, catfishing, you just set your rod down, wait on it. And can't use it to, until you overhaul the engine. I got you. It needs to be rebuilt. One of the things about um, mine, it was a two stroke. Um, and the gas would go bad in it if it sat for longer than like three or six months, three to six months, the gas would go bad in the carburetor and you would have to manually drain the gas from the carburetor um, by undoing the screws. And it was very difficult to get to them. And you had to, you had to pull the screws in a certain order and then you had to put them back in. Um, before pulling the fresh gas. It was a pain in the ass. But if like it sat for so long, it, it, that's just what, it, yeah. It's just what happened, you had to drain them. Yeah, I've been putting it off for the last two years, got some rod knock that needs to be rebuilt bad. I got you. I have an 86 Forerunner that I have the, I have a 22, um, or I have a 3236 Weber to go on a 22RE engine. The Baylon Sierra has a 4.3 V6 25. Just to shifts a bit. Yeah, mine was a an O three Nitro 
bass boat with a um, 115 tracker. Two stroke engine on it. Look at all this desync, bro. I fucking hate that shit. And there's, there are people here. I don't like that shit either. I just, one time, want to get one of those completely empty labs raid that all these labs mains talk about. Bro, the lab is so empty, there's nobody there. You have to spawn raiders to fucking kill anything. Where are those raids, bro? I've yet to get a raid, an empty labs raid. Golden Star's cool and all, but I really need a Ledex. Somebody turn parking power on. I think this is a 91 Sports Cruiser. Those are still pretty... Expensive though. Go away, go away, no. server got this as a salvage boat eight years ago after it had sunk Not great for 166k, but not a bad raid because we survived. This didn't want to die. I guess got this as a salvage raid. Mine's broke. Got washed up on it. But went over on its side. Ah, uh, got you.
Uh, did you know there are people who will who legitimately think that they can use polypropylene rope in rigging? You can't. Can't. They'll they'll moor their boats up with polypropylene line, and then when their boat gets washed away, they're like, "What the fuck happened? I had it tied up." But they use that fucking yellow or white poly rope. It doesn't tie right. It can it cannot safely be used for any sort of nautical rigging purposes. You have to use fabric rope for rigging. For successful rigging, I should say, I guess. whenever pressure is applied it it like stiffens up and it won't it doesn't give away so it'll push the knot back at the time the boat was selling around 20-25k got it five into it so the end oh yeah it's like a deal bro Yep, would not have been a good deal if you had to pay someone to rebuild the engine, though. Correct. Um, marine engines are very expensive things to get worked on. Agreed. Shit's wild. Super expensive. You've always been around boats, though, so since you were a kid, you picked up much over the years. Yeah, my grandfather always had a bass boat, but... I didn't learn much about the engine. We just did a whole lot of fishing. Probably thousand hours of fishing, bro. Thousands of hours. Что, неплохой день, да? Вот ко все. I still have my rods and reels. Ran Ab Abu Garcia mostly.
Never cared for driving the boat. Never cared for that much.
I didn't bring an SJ and a Tremadol. Actually, I don't think I have anything other than the Golden Star. It changes everything. That. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Just as a Gustin.
today would be nice, Nikita. Someone else opened a door.
Yep. That's been looted. I just wasted that key. Just went to labs and forgot two of your key cards. Forgot your only two key cards. Oh, fuck. Not that it would change much as you got clapped by a raider. Yeah, it happens. It happens. And you roll it in a PMC or a PC. That happens. That does happen. Not to me. I just die. Yeah. Without looting anything or anybody or killing anything or anybody. I just. Goddamn goblins, bro.
I don't know why I'm even going to attempt to loot it, Brad. Of course they had all the fucking keys. They always have all the fucking keys. Flash drive in the gamma, so that's I'm in the cam. So that is a 500k flash drive. Flash drives are but kind of fucking flash drive is worth 500k, my guy. That's how much you spent after. Uh, oh, I got you. I understand now. It costs you 500k to buy that. <laughs> Essentially. 500k to get your singular flash drive. Well,
Ну... Bad, right? Not a bad raid to end on. Yeah, that's a, that's an expensive ass flash drive, bro. Not a, like you're right. When I say good, I mean like it it didn't upset me in any way. Also, it's a survive. I got out with a bag full of loot. Um and it's the, it's a good way to end the stream. I mean, I I feel I feel successful after that. After that, right there. So yeah. That's going to be the final raid. I don't know. I didn't hate it. Did not hate that raid. How the fuck you bug?
Um, uh, but yeah, come back tomorrow and keep looking for a Let X. Keep on the search for a Let X, and we, we need to find these things. We, I didn't see any of these today. Um, Yeah, need to find some of those. Need to find some of those. I appreciate, I appreciate everyone for hanging out. I appreciate you chilled. Hope you have a good afternoon. Hope everyone has, or I hope you have a good night. Hope everyone has a good afternoon. And I will be back tomorrow morning to hunt for a Letex again. I'll get one in the end. I mean, we can hope. We can hope. We can hope. I, I, I've never gotten out of raid successfully with a Letex. Like, I've never had a found in raid Letex. Or no, I had one. I had one this way, but I don't know. I kind of fell ass backwards in it. I wasn't looking for it. I just, 